Hi everyone. Um, I did think of doing a little um, live recording but I kind of chickened out of that so, <laughs> so uh, I've done it ahead so I can at least edit out all my boo-boos. So anyway, um, my name is actually Samantha although you will probably know me as Rosina Play. Rosina was actually my grandmother who was the lady who taught me to crochet many many years ago. Um, so I thought when I wanted to set up my my own crochet design business, I thought I would use her name. So it's a little honour of her there. And another special lady to me was Letitia. Letitia was a really, really good friend of mine. Um, she died, ooh, coming up for 20 years ago now. Um, but she always loved Christmas. So when I did my, you may remember, I did a Christmas cow last year. So I decided to name it after her couldn't think of another name and it really seemed appropriate so that was how Letitia's holiday came about. So then at the beginning of this year I then had an idea to do a, a garden themed curl. Now I did initially come up with an idea where I would work in the round um, but that meant really just doing it using overlay mosaic and I love insect too so I thought use the same format as I did for the holiday cowl and and then and where we could like have the the stripes of inset and overlay um but put it out in the garden so again and, and i used exactly the same i've actually used the same stitch repeats for both cows so that's where i thought well if i call it letitia's garden with a bit of luck everybody will realize that you can actually mix and match the patterns so so yeah so any if you decide that there's maybe one of the patterns in the garden curl you don't like but you want to put some trees in it from the holiday one then you can do that just switch it around you just may need to watch on the um on the first row of each part sometimes i will use like back loop double crochets in an inset part on that first row just to kind of finish off the previous overlay one but if you haven't got an overlay design before you probably wouldn't need to do that you could just use the standard double crochets or the other way around so just watch that but other than that they'll all mix together beautifully so you'll probably notice behind me we have got the cottage garden colorway which is all done in stylecraft special double knit and in the lovely bright summery colors of a cottage garden so that's the first colorway after that the next one i came up with was something much more subdued um more you said so kind of city garden to me because it got lots of sort of the grays and things in it so here it is here so this, see it in little bits, this is our, oh, everything's backwards here, this is our city garden colourway. So that uses actually less colours. There's um, six contrast colours with the cottage garden, but with the city, you've only got, as you can probably see, there three. So that will be Palmer Violet, Grey and Pistachio with the, the um, white in the background. So that's a city garden. And then I wanted to come up with a third one. And I'd had my eye on the old Highland Heathers for a while because they're beautiful. So that is how the here we go. That is how the country garden colourway came came about. So these are it's still still Starcraft yarn, but um, all of the contrast colours are still a six, so it's the same sort of contrast colour numbers as for the cottage garden, but um, they're all in the Highland Heathers. And for the background there, I just picked the Life double knit in Ice Blues. That's lovely. So you've got three different colourways there, and I'm sure you'll all come up with hundreds of your own from your stash or putting together your own colourways, and I really, really can't wait to see them. So I say, what I would say to you now, please, 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 um, do, do your tension swatches. So read through the introduction file really carefully, and do your tension swatches, because for most people just i don't even know anyone it doesn't work for but everybody seems to do inset mosaic a little bit looser than the overlay so to make sure that you can keep the edges of your blanket nice and straight you will just need to do your tension swatches for both so you can get the right hook size to make the tension the same across both methods so please do that and i will see you soon for part one which will be out on the 23rd of july bye bye